King Boomer here with a new intro. And if you don't want to watch it, skip past it. Just like this. All right, Booms, what's going on? Is everything on? Everything's on. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> sure. Were you about to punch me or something? <laughs> Yeah. I feel threatened. No, because sometimes you'll start it and then we'll get like our, our what is it called? We'll get like our introduction in and then you're like, shit, and you weren't recording our voices or something. So I was just double checking you. Thank you for that. <laughs> you're welcome. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, we got the season finale of uh, season four random from uh, random. IT Cult. IT crowd. I was about to say, say IT cold. The hell is that? <laughs> how is it the final? I'm developing an IT cold. How is it the final if there's another episode? Well, the one you're looking at, that's uh, season five, which is only one episode. So they do a special instead of a season five, really. Oh, okay. So, um, but this last, yeah, the title of this last old, uh, episode from season four, Renum, Renum versus Renum. I'm excited. Talk about going out with a He's bang like for the season character. finale. Yeah, well, we might get a cameo from That's what I'm the original thinking, yeah. one, which I love the original Renum. But this, but Douglas Renum is He's is good. I actually think he, I like him better. He's yeah? crazy. Okay. He, hey, you wouldn't be a lot of the people who um, comment on our reactions say that they like Douglas He's better. He's crazy. I like the original. It's hard to. Say. I'm not gonna pick a favorite, but I yeah. do really like the original He's one. He's such too. a good like. Anytime you like, kind of kill a character off, you bring in a new one. It's, mm -hmm. You have big shoes to fill, and he filled them. He, he did yes. a good job. Yeah, better than better than almost anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, he was good. You know, I mean, it's kind of like comparable to like Heath Ledger filling Jack Nicholson's shoes a little bit. Although or it's it tech, yeah, but it's technically a different yeah. Joker character. Yeah, but still, it's like it, it's it's very oh, very character. impressive what Douglas yeah. Reynolds has done. So. Um, All right, let's go. Much praise. Let's get into it. All right, let's do the reaction. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's check out the season finale. Renum versus Renum. Here we go. Ooh. I got real high there. I got real high there, yeah. You had to watch me that I time. Am. Every other day, I take a short helicopter ride to Heston Blumenthal's restaurant. Last Oops, night, sorry. I ate a chocolate radio that still worked in my stomach and a flat chicken that was actually a glass of water. <laughs> Even the menu was edible. They said it wasn't, but I ate it. Sounds like you're living the life of Riley. Well, I actually knew Riley. And yes, there are similarities. <laughs> and yet, there is some sadness in your life. Tell me about Victoria. Well, you'll have to forgive me. There's been quite a few Victorias. Your wife? Oh, my God, my wife. Oh, yes, Victoria. <laughs> what a fantastic woman. The two weeks we were married were unforgettable. <laughs> two weeks. She disappeared in mysterious circumstances, did she not? She vanished while washing the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine oh, he, if you told the police he that. He her away. Oh my god, she vanished while he was washing oh, the car. You're wearing your ring. Yeah. Like How do you feel too. about that? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Despite a search that lasted nearly five hours, we found nothing. So naturally, we assumed the worst. You must miss her. More than words could say. <laughs> I'd give anything to see her walk through that door right now. Hey, why don't you take your clothes off? <laughs> what? Come on, we both knew it was on the cards as soon as I realized you were a woman. Oh my I god. To walk in. I left strict instructions not to be disturbed in case we had sex. There's no way anyone's walking through that door. Hello, Douglas. Uh oh. Victoria! But I thought you were dead! I must say, Douglas, you still don't seem very pleased to see me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm... Is that Will's mom from the Inbetweeners? I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Must have eaten some bad stereo system. <laughs> How's the wine? Excellent. From the chef's own cellar. What are you doing, Victoria? Last time I saw you, you were... Washing the car? 
Yes, I imagine you have many questions. I was under a lot of stress that day, Douglas. I think we both were. It's definitely Will's mom. I think yeah. so. We both knew it wasn't working. I picked up my sponge and bucket with a heavy heart that day. The rest is a blank. The next thing I can remember with any clarity is being on a kayaking holiday two years later. Well, that looks good. What's that? Oh, I sort of wish I'd ordered that. Our invisible desserts have arrived. I know we weren't happy for that second week of our marriage, Douglas, but what do you say to giving us another chance, as a couple? I don't know. I don't think we can just pick up from where we left off. No, Victoria, I'm sorry. It's over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what, does she have a monkey foot? My foot can't do that. Your foot can't do that. Get it off. <laughs> my foot, my bottom of my feet are so gross right now. <laughs> Brian hates feet. Yes, get it away from me. And I have gross little four to get, go. Get, yes, you do. Get it, get it off. Get it off. That's repulsive. I will not stand for this. I forgot you could do that. Maybe we should give it another go. Oh, my God. Mm. It's so gross. Well, that is new. How are you doing that? That might be the dog. Oh! Heston, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. I don't like that face. I feel like I'm what an opening! That's just the opening. That's a good opening. I want to divorce my wife. Oh no! Why are you telling me? Aren't you with legal? No. Remind me? IT? Relationship Ugh. manager? Ah. Well, then I probably shouldn't have told you any of that. <laughs> anyway, I want a divorce her right now. Now's too late. Before now. In fact, I want to have already divorced her. Is that possible? Well, as I said, I'm not a lawyer, so... Uh... Yes, but you're a relationship manager, and this is a relationship. <laughs> well, um, have you told her yet? Kind of. I changed my friend face profile from married to it's complicated. That's not the same as telling her, Mr. Renham. Yeah, but someone will pass it on. Why not you? No! <laughs> Do you know anybody that's had relationship troubles and they put it's complicated in yeah. their Facebook status? Yeah. Are they crazy? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. As soon as I see somebody put it's complicated... Put single or not single. Right. As soon as I see somebody put it's complicated... In there, and it's like, and I know the person. I'm like, oh, it's yeah, it's crazy. Whoever the fuck, it's crazy, Stacy. <laughs> in a complicated relationship. I'm like, you know, if you ever go on like Facebook's like options, they are crazy. You could put like, uh, you can put like, open relationship. You, yeah, you can do a lot of weird things yeah. with Facebook. That's for sure. Oh come on. Please break up with my vanishing car cleaning wife. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'll give you, I don't know, ten thousand pounds. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'll break up with you for that. What is this? Who are you again? I'm Jen Barber. I'm with the IT department at Renham Industries. Sorry, I thought I was meeting my husband. Mm, uh, Mr. Renham asked me to convey a um, uh, a message to you. I know, right? Mrs. Renham, how long have you and Mr. Renham known each other? About ten years. Ten years, ten wonderful years. Who are you? Mrs. Renham, can I call you Victoria? No. Mrs. Renham, sometimes there is a day and then there is a night. Sometimes. I like. I love it when Jen tries to sound like really. I know. Smart, and it comes out just completely fucking. Yeah. That sometimes there's a day, and sometimes there's a night. <laughs> Did you think that there? Like is? yeah, that's that's how the earth works. Sometimes there is a morn, and then there is an eve. 
flowers grow, trees are cut down, babies are born, but um, lawyers exist. What are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. Let me guess. My husband wants to leave me, and he paid you a large amount of money so that you would spare him the embarrassment of facing me. Yes, but I'm, I'm not going to take the money. I, I, I feel sick. Well, of course you do. You're a normal person. You're not upset? No, because I'm not a normal person. <laughs> you see, what you're trying to do here but can't, if the tables were turned, I wouldn't find it difficult at all. <laughs> In fact, it's how I met his first wife. <laughs> oh, I didn't know these were edible too. She just ate part of a knife! Well, it's it's like an edible restaurant. <sighs> They're not. <laughs> Was it an edible restaurant? I didn't catch that part. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm watching like eight shows all at once. I know. So yes, they're at an edible restaurant. That's what you didn't notice the food. My was brain like is fried. Face. You know what happens to me after watching all this, uh, all these shows what? that I've never seen before. My brain turns into this. Is that why you come home crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. That's all that. I have to spend the afternoon with Douglas. Somehow, I've been drafted into his legal eagle fantasy. Have you ever spent any serious time with that man? He's unbelievable. You should hear the way he talks about women. Oh yeah, he's some piece of work. He's like a sexy Hitler. I mean, I don't expect to be put on a pedal stool, but please show a little respect. I'm, I'm sorry, you don't expect to be put on a what? On a on a pedal stool. A pedal stool? <laughs> What's a pedal stool? Oh, you know, uh, you put women on it when you admire them. You know the phrase. Oh yeah, no, the famous phrase to be put on a pedal stool. <laughs> pedestal. What? Pedestal is the word. What's a pedal stool? <laughs> Did you really think there was such a thing as a pedal stool? Shut up, everyone has blind spots. Uh, can you uh, come and help me sort through all this legal crap, please, Moss? I'd rather not. I've not had good experiences with the legal system. How come? Well, when I was 11, I broke the patio window and my mother sued me. <laughs> she sued you? Yeah, um, About to 11. teach me a lesson. She's always been a very aggressive litigator. <laughs> do that can you sue your children it was kind of a show trial in the kitchen <laughs> she made a little gallery for the cats oh. what? what happened she won <laughs> i'm still paying costs <laughs> <laughs> pedal stool 212 million quid? You can't be serious! Oh, we're quite serious, Mr Renham. But that's enough to bring Renham Industries to its knees! Bloody blast! This is up my ass. <laughs> that is the amount. It is not up for negotiation. Balls from hell, you shit twins! <laughs> calm down, Mr Renham. Bollocks to be telling me to calm down, my old chap. She wants 220 titty million quid. You tell me to calm down, you're fired. I'm not your lawyer. Piss off! I'm gonna rip... I love this guy. <laughs> Piss off! Present myself. I'm not your lawyer. You sit there, all confident. Yeah, but when this goes to court, that's when the talking stops. Mr. Renham, uh, there might actually be more talking in court. This would actually be a comparatively small amount of talking, what we're doing here. Oh, I see. Sorry. No, no, that's all right. It's what I pay you for. <laughs> Look at her, cold as ice. But I tell you this, behind those shades, she's terrified. One thing you should know about me, Jen, when I put my mind to something, it gets done. Representing myself is the kind of challenge I relish. Well, you'll have to do a lot of preparation. I think you... Bring no, it it's, uh... It looks like a bunch of rubber bands made oh. into a ball. Have you ever seen one of those before? No. And they bounce. Do they? Yeah, very, very Let's well. Let's one. Okay.
<laughs> he looks great. I love that suit. I'd rock that. I bet you would. I would definitely rock that. Uh, what's this? It's my suit. I made it myself. Took me a few days. Um, how did you find time to prepare for the trial? How did I what? <laughs> Mrs. Renham, you say that in the short time you were married, you became indispensable to Mr. Renham. In what way were you indispensable? I had to brush his teeth. Really? Yes. Well, that's not an expression. No. You got the brush, <laughs> you applied toothpaste to it, you moved it into his mouth, <laughs> you moved your hand up and down. Well, if I didn't do it, he wouldn't do it. Make a note, brush teeth. <laughs> now, you're asking for quite a large amount. I think it is an appropriate amount. Bollocks. <laughs> Mr. Renham. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> what is that? Why is he talking like I that? I want to see this guy in a real court. <laughs> oh, my God. I would ask you to refrain from using that kind of language in my courtroom. And which word in particular do you object to, Your Honor? <laughs> you only said one. Could you read it back? Bollocks. Don't be. Oh. Well, we're back, and uh, good thing you put those away. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have gotten kicked off It's just every platform we're on, which is uh, two. If the camera's not on, they're just out, so I'm just used <laughs> to it. <laughs> Uh, if you know, you know. But anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the show here and react to it. Uh, let me she, rewind she like 10 seconds. just wanted a little nap snack. Yeah, nap snack. That's right. Here we go. Which word in particular do you object to, your honor? <laughs> you only said one. Could you read it back? Um, bollocks. Don't read it back. Why do you say it is an appropriate amount? Mr. Renham calls me great distress. I feel I'm entitled to some restitution. Besides, it's not as if he ever put the money to good use. As the film proves... Your Honor, may I present the central exhibit to our case? It is, I'm afraid, a sex tape. A sex tape? Uh-oh. Which one? <laughs> Sex tape. Fuck off. The alien craft appears to have dropped its shields. Thank you, female Chekhov. Female Sulu, beam their captain aboard. But, Captain, are you sure? But she's hurt. She may need our help. Jam, even if she's injured, as you say, I can't do an examination on a new species without proper research. Damn it, Jam. I'm a sexy doctor, not a sexy scientist. Female Sulu, you have your orders. Perhaps the good doctor thinks that certain alien species do not fall under the Hippocratic. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you, did you notice the sound yeah, in this? Yeah. I'm not a sexy scientist. Kim Sulu, you have your orders. Well, I don't think it's high budget. So what? Perhaps the good doctor thinks that certain <laughs> alien species do not fall under the Hippocratic oath. I have never refused treatment to a patient, female Spock, and you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've seen enough. Your Honor, I object. There's a brilliant bit coming up. <laughs> Mr. Renham, are you ready to start your cross-examination of Mrs. Renham? I am, Your Honor, but rest assured, it will be a normal examination. I am not in any way cross. <laughs> you are Victoria Renham. Are you not? Mr. Renham, we have already established that. Might I suggest you try less to do an impression of a lawyer you once saw on the television and make your case as simply as you possibly can? Wise words, my learned lud. <laughs> Victoria, you've spoken about the real me. And I think it's time we heard a little about the real you. Isn't it true that you used to be a man? No. It isn't true, you say? It is untrue. Who am I thinking of? 
The one from that yeah. one episode. I can't remember her name, but. I think you mean April. The April, woman yeah. you had a fight with. No further questions, my lord. <laughs> He's just your entire up. case rested on that. Yes, Your Honor. No, wait, Mr. Renham, you can't leave it at that. Uh, Your Honor, may I confer with my relationship manager? <laughs> What's up, Jen? Um, you've got to request more time to prepare a proper defence. Your Grace, may I approach the bench? Have you brushed your teeth? <laughs> no. Then you may not. <laughs> your Grace, I need to prepare a proper defence. The one I just did there was rubbish. <laughs> Yes, he's some piece of work. Oh, yeah. We're all very happy at Renham Industries. Are you telling the truth? Yes. Then why are you so ill at ease? Well, if you must know, I was in a court myself recently, this very courtroom, in fact, where I gave testimony against a former soldier who... The one that kissed the little yeah. That was fucking great. That was a great episode. I was having a massage, and he kissed me on my bottom, Your Honor. <laughs> I see. I'm sure you can understand my discomfort. Are you all right? Can you continue? I can continue, thank you. The way you tell it, your employer sounds like a paragon of virtue. That's right. And furthermore, I would like to say at this point that I think this whole case to be a damn squid. Thank you. No further questions. Ooh, I have one more question, Your Honor. Yes? Uh, w uh what did you say? <laughs> what? What did you say the case was? Uh, may I have it read back, please? I believe this entire case to be a bit of a damp squid. A damp squid. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, oh, Jen, it's, um, it's an expression. Uh, it means that I believe that everything that's been said in this case, everyone already mm, knew. Yes, but did you say damp squid? That's right. Did you not mean damp squib? <laughs> no, it's squid. <laughs> What's a squib? It's not squid. Squids are already damp. Hence the phrase. <laughs> Your Honour, please. It is squib. I must say, I find it extraordinary that you, a man in your early 30s, could have reached this point in your life without knowing that it is squib. <laughs> I think it's squid. I have no further questions. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. That will be all. Everyone has your blind spot. I said that will be all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Your name is Morris Moss, is it not? <laughs> Your name is Morris Moss, is it not? Sorry. Get nervous, so. Yeah. Oh. It's very fizzy, it's fizzy, it's gone fizzy. Ow, come on! <laughs> That's electric, it's electric in there. What a shock. <laughs> You're not He's such a fucking great character. He looks evil oh though God. when he looked over. He is so good. My name is Morris Moss, is it not? It is not. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry. I've, um, my mother sued me. Justin, <laughs> relax. Take your time. Try to answer the questions as clearly as you can. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love, yeah. You do? Yeah, it's yeah, cute. I know you do. Your name is Morris Moss, is it not? John, it's a, it's a transport team. You okay? <laughs> His face! He I looks, love everyone. He's just taking like everything out of him. He's one of the funniest people I've ever seen whenever they lack facial expression. Yes, I agree. <laughs> no further questions, my lord. Why do they put them in a little box like they're like a pig? 
I know, right? I don't understand that either. Take you to the cleaners, Mr. Renum. Yep, I suppose she will. Mysterious. <laughs> 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 yeah. What's that? Oh, God. I think I may have found our miracle. <laughs> Can you state your full name, please? Richmond, uh -oh. Felicity, Avenor. <laughs> it's Richmond, but he looks He's kind of normal. He's still got the eyeshadow. Yeah. Back in blonde. I almost forgot about Richmond. I did too. Because I don't think he's been in this season. Yeah. So. And you worked at Burnham Industries for a time. I did for over four years. And what did you do? It wasn't him. It was the old Renum that he had an affair with. Or Richmond? Yeah. What did he do? No, I'm saying he maybe he had an affair with his wife. Oh. With Renum's wife. Right, but uh, <laughs> what did I say? Him. He had an affair with the old Renum. I meant to say he was friends with the old Renum. Yeah, the I was new like, Renum. I was like, what are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? I'm losing my mind, babe. You are. I'm losing my mind. Sorry. <laughs> Can you state your full name, please? Richmond, Felicity, Avenal. And you worked at Burnham Industries for a time. I did for over four years. And what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> Why did you leave? Well, my life wasn't really going anywhere. I was part of the whole goth death metal subculture, but it wasn't making me happy. It was all a bit gloomy. It's around about that point that I developed scurvy. <laughs> now that sounds unpleasant. On the contrary, catching scurvy was the best thing that ever happened to me. It made me take a long, hard look in the mirror. And I didn't like what I saw, I can tell you that. Not just because my teeth had fallen out. <laughs> Which is why I founded From Goth to Boss. Is it okay if I play a DVD? Does it have anything whatsoever to do with this case? Not really, Your Honour. Then you may proceed. <laughs> Where are you going? Is it to the top? If not, why not? Go to the bloody top. Is it because you're a goth? Did you know that goths have some of the lowest life satisfaction levels of any subculture, with the exception of traffic wardens? That's why you don't see any goth traffic wardens. That would be a deadly combination. Oh my god. Goths to boss work with goths at various locations around the UK to bring out their hidden potential by encouraging them to engage in everyday, healthy pursuits such as sports. Mixing with other humans, extended laughter sessions, introducing color to your wardrobe. This is why I fucking love this show and the, so and Father random. Ted because it, the shit that happens in this in these shows are so fucking. You know random. what I appreciate about them? Have you ever seen shows and they bring up something funny and you're like, oh, I wish they did a cutaway of that? They do it every time. Like yeah. if they talk about something ridiculous, they show it. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Just look at these results. This is Debbie. She used to hang around railway stations with her hands in her sleeves. Now she's a lifeguard in Mumbai. From golf to boss, you know it makes sense. Unless you're not a golf. In which case, from golf to boss, remember the name. But well, what does this have to do with my divorce proceedings, my kind fellow? Well, Mr. Renham, I'm here to tell you that that woman is not Victoria Renham. Her name is Melanie Crawford, a former from Goff to Boss pupil of mine. Sing, you canary. <laughs> well, during our sessions, she seemed more interested in you than getting any better. I don't think she ever truly exercised the goth within. Scratch away that fake tan, and beneath you'll find the purest white foundation. <laughs> yeah, that was more of a phrase than anything. 
Oh, actually, um, no, sorry, that's not her. No, sorry about that. Um, that's not her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> See, it's like... You think it's going somewhere and then it doesn't. It doesn't, yeah. It's just random. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've heard a few things over the past few days, none of which cast me in a particularly favorable light. Stories of expensive sex tapes, rumors of me killing my first wife. No, no, no one's mentioned that. <laughs> but, you know, there's one thing I do want to say. Just one thing that I... <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Renham. Mr. Renham, please. <laughs> Mr. Renham, this really is the most pathetic display I think I've ever seen. May I say something, Your Honour? Why not? <laughs> Lying here, pretending to have a heart attack. You see a, a desperate man. Not pretending. A man who has exhausted all of his time, all of his resources, on an expensive trial that has resulted in humiliation. But think not of him. Think of the employees of Renham Industries. Think of the man who was sued by his mother, the simpleton who thought the phrase damp squid was correct. These are the people I want you to consider when making your judgment. For Renham is not just the name of this ridiculous man who keeps opening his eyes whenever he thinks no one's looking. <laughs> Renham is... <laughs> fuck. Oh, my oh God. it's so ridiculous. Yeah, that's scary, sir. <laughs> Renham is not just the name of this ridiculous man who keeps opening his eyes whenever he thinks no one's looking. <laughs> Renham is the name of the family his employees have found in each other. Oh. We are all Renhams. Hurt him. And you hurt me. Oh, all right, then we'll take 70 million. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ew, I don't like this. Place. It looks like coconut milk. It looks like milk. Right. <laughs> oh man. Right, that one was good. Yes, it was a good it was a good finale to end on. With season four. Very good. <laughs> Will's mom. Who I must say, she was looking good. She looked she did look she really good. She was looking good. good. Yeah. I wonder if she was younger or older when she was Will's mom. What do you like? It looks like about the, the same it looks like about the same age. Yeah. Well, when in betweeners first started. Yeah. Cause this is like I wanna say this is either late. This came out late two thousands or yeah, mid two thousands. I think that might be her. And in betweeners, I think started in the late two thousands as well. Yeah. So oh, I don't know then. I think that's her younger, and then in betweeners, she's a little older. But in this one, they didn't have her look motherly. They had her look. That's true too. Like a, like uh, a I'm the I'm a, like a like a boss lady. Yeah. 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 So. But she did good in that. That was funny. Yeah, that was. And any of the And Moss's that... Moss's little he couldn't even answer the simple Are you Maurice Moss? And he couldn't I even just love, Are you so... not? He's like, I have not. I love him getting out of the little square yeah. thing. But honestly, I feel like I would look dumb getting out of that too. Like the mm. door matches. Yeah. The rest of it. Right. <laughs> Fucking hell. And you're right, he has the best, like when he has no expression on his face. It's so funny. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh. It's amazing. Boss, I'm sad there's only one Richard episode. Richard Iodi, if that's how you say his name. I probably butchered that. But uh, 
A I O D? A I O D? Is that a I O D? A I O D? Oh, I don't know. I didn't listen. B I A I O D? B I A I O D? You're such a dad. I don't know. I tried. I'd reach for that one a little bit. But, no, that little cutaway part was really funny, too. And, you know, I've read comments that said that uh, Richard A.I.O.D. or I.O.D., however you say his last name. Um, apologize if I'm getting it wrong. But they said that uh, he was basically cast in that and basically told, like, just be yourself. Oh, really? Yeah, so apparently that character was written specifically <laughs> yeah. for him. So, aww. She's having a little baby dream. I know. Having a little baby dream over there. <laughs> All right. Well, season six is in the books, and we only got one I'm more so episode sad. left. And it's a long one. It's a spe- It says season five, but it's really just an end special to end uh-huh. it. You know. Aww. So it's, it's gonna be, gonna be sad when it's gone. What but, are we doing um, next? I already know what we're doing next. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna say nothing though. No. No. Because. Uh, I know what you like. Hmm. So, I know the perfect show for us to start watching after All this right. is over. I'm excited. So I'm just going to keep it a secret from them because I like to, whenever I start a new show, I like to surprise them with it. Yeah. And then find out if I made a good decision because some. <laughs> or they're like, that's shit. <laughs> that, that, shit. This choice. ain't the show I wanted you to watch, you know, but. Um, you know, I do pay attention sometimes. So usually, usually when I pick a, a new show to do, I haven't had like major backlash about yeah. it. Yeah. So, um, unless I unless choose. I choose to watch Gavin and Stacy. Gavin and Stacy. <laughs> There's a show called Gavin and Stacy. Do you know who um what's his face is? No. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what's the guy's? No. Uh. Ben fucking Chappell. no! I can't even think of his name. He used to host like the late late show. Jerry James Leno. Corden. James, James Corden. James Corman. Corden. Oh, I don't know. Who He's that is. kind of a tubby, blonde-haired uh, comedian, I guess. Um, he used to host a late late show here in the states, or something like. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, he took over for uh, Craig one. Craig Ferguson, I think, at one point, like for like the past like seven years. Or something. I don't think that's anyway, what nineteen year old girls are watching. He, anyway, he's he's one of the characters in the show and because mm-hmm. like everybody hates him. But he's he's from England. Mm-hmm. But he's even more hated over there oh. than he is here. Why? So I don't they people say he's like a pompous ass and treats people pompous. terribly. Treat, treats people terribly, you know, oh, doesn't, nice. you know, like, and the success really went to his head. And, yeah. Um, there's, like, you know, stories out there where he just treats everybody like, like a fucking doormat. Oh, that's not nice. That's what I've heard. I don't know because I never really seen him in anything that I've watched. Yeah. Other than I knew, I knew he was the host of that I have fucking to look it up because I don't know who this man but is. But anyway, he's one of the characters, he plays one of the characters in Gavin and Stacey. Okay. And I've had... Every time I get somebody recommending Gavin and Stacey, which it has been quite a few people, mm-hmm. I get twice as many people telling me, no, if you do that, They're I will like, unsubscribe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I don't think we will ever do Gavin. Yeah. In fact, I got a personal Gavin and Stacey request j- just yesterday. Well, so I'm sorry, but I don't think we, we will ever do, do Gavin and Stacey because we don't want to piss to anybody check it off. Out, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, apparently it was a very popular show in yeah. Britain, but... Every single like person who's saying don't do it, I will unsubscribe. Also says I can't for the life of me understand why this became the one of the most popular shows uh, in Britain. So I don't want to touch it because you know I don't I I don't want to I don't want to set you know off a fucking touch? shit storm. What a pizza? A pizza? Oh, are you hungry? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get out of here. So we'll do the. Uh, Season next time you're available, we'll do the uh, okay. the special for season five. So, does that right. sound good? Yeah, I'm sad it's and then be yeah, but I I think I got the right show for us All right. afterwards. I'm so, All right. All right, guys. Boomerites. We'll see you next time. Take care. Love you. Stay safe.